Good morning, everybody. This is uh, a Porta 2 mount Vixen, if I recall. You can see it. It's an alt azimuth mount. And you see it says Porta here. And it's got an angle to it. I think that is, uh, if you want to slew the telescope, you can do it any way you like. Uh, I've got a prism diagonal in here today works real well with the uh, with the Teleview 60 lightweight I could probably even take out this extension tube and it'll still come to focus without problem yeah so it's mounted on that Teleview Vixen adapter that I showed you in the previous video. So that makes a nice spotting scope. It'll also be okay on the on the uh, stars and the moon. You can see here, this isn't a typical mount. I was able a long time ago to buy this L bracket or L plate. And I found it on a fellow by the name of Manny on Cloudy Nights. Manny made these. Don't know if he's still making them. Probably not i haven't heard much from them lately but as you can see in this configuration i can simply just mount the telescope onto this l bracket a standard port of two you have to mount it sideways this bracket is attached to here and it's kind of kind of funky but i guess people People think that's okay, uh, but I like the plate for because it makes more sense to me. I heard that if I I've got this adapter coming, and if I remove this black ring, um, I could put this McGill adapter onto that, and it will attach to. A tripod with a three three eighths inch uh, bolt. Now I thought when I bought the adapter it would work for this and that, but we'll find out. Because sometimes I would like to travel when I go to Boston for medical checkups and bring this with me, right? Bring it with me and uh, uh, stick it in my my luggage and carry carry on. This uh, is a older wide field eyepiece. It's a Telview 19 millimeter wide field that has been since replaced by. Placed by the uh, 19 millimeter panoptic, which is, I know, an excellent eyepiece. But this one works just fine for me. Um, I have for this type of work a couple of uh, old Koenigs that I've had for a while. That's the 
24 millimeter Koenig and a, a 16 millimeter Koenig and even a 12 millimeter Koenig I could try out on this for low power wide field viewing. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice little telescope. See the objective lens.